well, don't, and don't talk well, over me. I won't. Yeah, well, Welcome. You to are a limb. Yeah, hey, that was Circle. Now, Welcome to 20% Off with me, your host, Flash, <laughs> and my friends. Tonight, we're going to have a little change of tactic. I brought Vinny along tonight. He's my co-hostage this afternoon uh, slash evening. Say hi to all the people out there, Vinny. We're here for the booty and the bounty on the <laughs> box. That's right, right here at Real Liberty Media. Dot com, of course, and rlmradio.xyz. Topping the bar is the bar man and the great grinner and the mighty moose girl, along with DC in back brackets and Tiasmo Beth Z, uh, one of the favorite Canadians of some here at the Real Liberty Media chat room. Chal Sedoni and Graham Z and IBD on C. Yes, sir, Mr. Carroll. Thank you. Java Doctor 2 and Master Brow. There's the Ponder Gander, ever consistent me, along with uh, Poopster Below. Prince, yes, we've made tracks and uh, come along to Kate and Rob Works, along with Vanna White, our lovely lady bot, Ben E. That's me, one of the many a singular a session today. But we'll change that and we'll get a new nick for Vinny somewhere along the line. W4DKV, Roger, come in, uh, Weather Dork. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's doing double duty. I think uh, he needs to raise uh, our weather. <laughs> and and Jeez. along with Chascura. Uh oh. Like, yes. How do you say Chascura? I ain't gonna even. I ain't even gonna try it. Well, Chascarenas then. Ha <laughs> ha. I am far too white to say a word such as that, sir. Very good. Hello, yeah. circle. I um, guess my favorite Denmarkian. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, and cyber noodle it's delicious and it's not even friday but you can have it anyways duh and uh, civ there you are and never, civ. never ever changing your name since your last debacle of sl- flash some booty hey <laughs> that that was kind of fun though yeah well don't I, be from it's it was all Cirque's fault she she told me a story yeah. Yep. Said my name couldn't be changed on Ice Chat. So well, she had to make me a new one. And then you, later on figured out how to change the name. <laughs> Went, you, damn. Good. <laughs> you good. liar. Uh, there's my favorite Canadian. To see right you. there. Frumpy. He's almost Frumpy! American. Oh. I think I think we could get him down here and pass him off as an American. No, nobody. Don't ever. That's just cruel. You think? Yeah, sure. That's well, cruel. Put a crime in nah, him. he's he's a Canadian. He don't want to be no damn Yankee. What are you nuts? Ray hey, Kill. I'm American, and I don't even want to be American. So come on, you're Yay, you're talking Jay. to yourself here tonight, there, Vincenzo. Uh, nines, nines. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm <gonna> kiss. <laughs> yeah. There's, and Matt, yeah. I don't know what the WJ stands for. Oh. Yeah, but 2002. And Pawn mm. Sauce and the real Donnie Wu, that's correct. The real Donnie Wu is here, uh-huh. along with the sock puppet smart as that damn man met her in the holiest of all, Roger. What a crowd. What a crowd, I'm telling you here. Uh, what? So, we're what everybody's we're- Hey, where's our, our uh, what? Where's our chat gone to? We had some people in there just really slinging, slinging stuff around, weren't they? Oh, I seen somebody call somebody else stupid. Uh, you know why? Is you're stupid? No, because the other guy is like me against the vaccination. We really? do not want to be forced to do shit. No, I think you know it's like fluoride. If you really support fluoride. You should be able to go to the dentist and go get your fucking fluoride. Did I don't you see, see any uh, reason to put it in the water when I don't want it. So well, there you I, go. I hey, I'm speaking up. Okay. Did you see somebody, what was it, a day or so ago mm-hmm. was posting how the fluoride they put in there is just, you know, it's all okay. It's because you get fluoride in naturally in water. Well, yeah, but I've read both sides of that story and the truth. Of the whole thing is so horrible 
that I can only uh, imagine. The modern day mind is far too complex to handle it. Yeah. Thank, it, it'll thanks. snap your reality. Yeah. If you, you know, you think about this, Vinny. If you had just recently, a few years ago, started to find out all this crap that we've been around for a long time. Hey, what the fuck? You, your reality would be different than the one we have. We have different realities than your, uh, the social married go to work kind of people. You know, that's not where me and you came from, so to speak. Uh, well, you know, people that uh, put that stuff up on YouTube, they're getting banned mm -hmm. off of YouTube, you know, that and other things, conspiracy theories. And yeah. Even how to. Yeah. You know, Graham MC said uh, porn. What is that? Hub porn is the, porn, wait, porn, porn, porn hub is the, is the new YouTube. Right. For gun enthusiasts. For anybody, because they're fucking up YouTube so bad. That, well, I'm big, just making a point about alternatives. uh the illusion of the alternative is what bothers me, Vinny. Well, I, I'm going to oh. suggest bit shoot instead of... Uh, uh, true, uh, true, true. Right, but you got to remember, uh, there's more people on alive right now on cell phones and shit not understanding what we know because they're not getting the information. No, they're not. Because, because they're, they're, they're not making their self wow. available to learn it. So it, it goes right. Hey, that's how I lived for years. I wasn't interested in any of the world events. The news Grimner. was was on the, at a bar and I would ignore it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Grimner has, the, has clarified this, that natural mm. fluoride is not oh, like okay. it waste fluoride. You know, where does it come from? Where, in the aluminum industry, uh, stuff that they'd have to pay to ship off and to dump it yeah they the used to get it from florida i did a, sh a part of a show about it once yeah yeah and uh what i read was it's a chemical byproduct they're trying to get rid of it and uh they used to get it from florida it's aluminum product yeah byproduct now it comes they import it from china and china's has um uh, something extra uh I can't remember what it was. Even better? They've got another dangerous toxin in their um, fluoride. On that top of the fluoride. That's, uh, you know, it's not good for human consumption at any level. So what these idiot lawyers do is they write laws. Well, if it's within this limit, no, it shouldn't be any in there. And then they start getting uh, microscopic talk about it. You know, we'll get the microscope out and we'll make it a small, small little thing. Well, you know, sometimes that's all it takes to kill a human being is a small, small little thing. Or maybe a small amount over time. Long periods of time, right? Yeah. They get, they're going to get us eventually. But, There's but no two ways what, about that. Would the government really allow such a thing to, to occur? And go, sure. To, to, of the citizenry yeah sure of course what, what do they the what do they yeah. care what, okay yeah. l let's go why would the government care about the citizenry what would the point of that be well they collect taxes from these people to keep them in operation right no oh, please that little tax game shit they play with us if, if you earn less than a quarter of a million dollars a year you don't even you don't even rate a blip on the fucking radar if you really want to think about it, okay? So, it's, it's a, more of a matter of what you get yourself in debt for than how much money you earn. <laughs> know what I mean or not? Yeah, I just rolled the doobie. Mm. Uh, uh, I don't, I got a bud over here. So. 420 early. Already? 12 minutes early. Well, are we inflated? Did We've hit the inflation zone. The time zone? I don't know. I lost it there. I was trying to be funny, and it went. Yeah. Eh, they're not always great. Do a duck face. Face. Yeah. Whoa! Don't mess with the duck, Chuck. You just got Scrooge. Ah, ah, Scrooge McDuck, you in a heartbeat, pal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Would... You got to remember. I am so unattractive that I wasn't even molested as a child by all the freaks. 
I understand They that. never molest her. I feel so left out, Vinny. Everybody else has got social problems. They don't know what gender they are. They don't <laughs> even want to be called a he or a she. Stuff like that. Important stuff, Vinny. You feel like, you feel like, they got <laughs> safe spots. And <coughs> they Hello. cry when you call them names, Vinny. No, I don't mean... I don't mean like the, the backbiting shit that me and you can do to each other. I mean, a, they hear a word and they fall apart. Sad. I'm very, I, I'm very worried. I, I think you've been triggered. Why? Is there a gun? Where's the gun? Yeah, Have you got a gun? Are you pointing a gun at me, sir? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, and all these new catchphrase fucking cliches are, I'm bored of them already. Gas lighter. What's the one you just used? Uh, uh, what was the one you just said? I already forgot it. Scrooged? No, no. The catchphrase. Triggered. All these Triggered. new catchphrases. Everybody's, you know, it's like the 70s again. Easy there, Trigger. Calm down. No, no, no. I can't. It's in my nature to be argumentative. I am from Argentina. I am argumentative today uh, i'm from venezuela then yeah. and i'm Venezuela. hey i called you venezuela today on the rlm I saw that. that yeah was... among other things i had a i went through a, a right. little long run short run here on long names i think hmm. Vinny enforcer oh yeah seriously and enforcer uh, Vinny validation and Vinny vienna Vinny licious and Vinny verbally and Vinny gendered, of course, your fate. Yeah, but are you going to be a law enforcement official when you grow up? I already am. No. In your mind? No. No. I, huh? I, declared, I declared it. What? Oh, like you did with your uh, being in the press? Yeah. Can you do that? Just become a cop? Like Doofy and just put on a hat Wait. and a badge and the next thing you know, you're you're a cop. <laughs> You have a, a duty yeah. to arrest crime that you witness. Uh, if you I do. Why, why, wait a minute, Vincent. Why, why would I have such a duty in Denmark to, to do these things you're telling me? Oh, you crime free over there? You don't see oh, it wrong? Oh, I have yet. We're, this little pocket, it would take a stranger from somewhere else. You're lucky. To, yeah. It's a, it's, I'd never seen anything fucking like it. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, like I make it up. I was telling my friends at the bar the last time I was there. I said, I, I'll bet the people I talk to in America think I'm just making all this shit up and it's not true. Because, <laughs> you know, who who would believe it in this time where everything in the world's on fire? How does that make you feel? Um, how does it make me feel what? About what? 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 Be more specific. Feel. I don't know. I grab my wife and hope I hit pay dirt. <laughs> anyway, what? How does it make me feel? Never mind. Be more specific, Vinny. That was vague. What do you th who do you think you are? Donald I Trump? Trying to go find something else. What are you debating on over there, boy? What? My tea. I, I know. I guess a terrible habit I got. I am the rudest host on the internet radio sites. I'm, I'm just like Walter. I don't care. You know, if you're that worried about quality, then you don't need to be here. <laughs> We're not here for quality. We're here for fun and entertainment and sometimes a, a tidbit of information. But, you know, it's like school. If school wouldn't been so fucking boring, I might have lasted longer than whatever it was. I, you know, when I started to really want to not go, I think I was like 11, 12. I said, fuck this. I'm done. I'm not doing this. So, but, you know, it was so boring. I didn't want, can you imagine a 12 year old bored in a school? What kind? I must have been a strange kid. You're pretty strange. Yeah, they couldn't keep my attention no matter what they said or what they threatened me with either. That was pretty kind of fun. And I'm come from the days when they switched over from you could corporal punish to you couldn't. I think it was like around 1970 they switched over. Fade in the black. 
Hey, but boy. I got into plenty of trouble before I was 10, <laughs> where they sent me in for a SWAT from the principal. Did you like it? Mm. Did you just bend over and take it? No, I just didn't give a shit. You know, didn't. I was rebellious when I was little. I'm rebellious still. I mean, before this, before the show, <laughs> me and Vinny and Cirque were having a, a blast just laughing at being mean. <laughs> she, and she still, I guess when, when I went to air, she was still yelling at me. And she had a big smile on her face the whole time she's doing it. But if you only hear it, I guess it sounded convincing. Yeah, it was funny. I was laughing. Very I, I hard. don't know if you heard the last thing she said when we went, just when I turned on the air switch. The start the broadcast thing. <laughs> mm. Hey, so, so what about this uh, hurricane or a uh, hurricane? Don't know. I have or, no uh, idea. I'm so it, far out of range in a hurricane, it wouldn't matter. The only way it's going to hurt me is with uh, if they if it lands and destroys crops and I can't get my avocados, then you know then they, it'll affect me. But probably not. Think they grow a lot of avocados in Florida? Uh, I don't know. I was just saying whatever. The, I don't think they bring in a lot of shit here from Florida any damn way. There'd be no market for it where I live. Not talking about maybe Copenhagen might have a market with Florida, but I don't know why. I wonder if they do grow avocados in Florida. Well, I know they grow them in California. Yeah, man, they're huge trees. I mean, yeah, they put off yeah. hundreds and hundreds of avocados. But food, well, see, food grows where food grows. And I was showing somebody. I think I posted this link earlier on the R L and M about a. There's this farmer in Nebraska. That figured out how to grow underground by Where is he? building. He's got a building. I mean, he's enclosed Where? in Nebraska. That, yeah, I saw that video. Yeah. Well, that's incredible. And they know how much uh, yield each plant is going to produce. They've got it down to a science. They use the earth to heat the place in well, uh, in the coldest yeah. time of year. It's yeah, brilliant. It's yeah, it's uh, ground coupling is a, to uh, anchor the the mass there it's just so you're not how, hiding all the temperature change right it's like you had a uh, glass of water sitting outside in air versus having it inside a cooler you know a insulated box there fighting off get them get them get them yeah i know you can hear okay well listen here's I'm gonna click well, this the point of bringing him up is there's so much technology out there that's nobody knows about, and so few people do know. Yeah, so we know. I can't use the information. I live in Denmark. Where, what am I gonna buy? Buy citrus from Nebraska, <laughs> or uh, I forget what state he was in now. I think it was Nebraska. It's pretty cold in the winter time. Whatever state he was in. Yeah, I get cold at first. I found a link, and they're saying that the the California avocado is the Haas, but that's not true. That they're not all that Haas variety. They got smooth skin uh, avocados in uh, California, but they're saying. Hmm. Uh, well, or, see, it's all this damn information. You know, the, all this information uh, is available to us, so they throw shit to you that's not real, and then you, great. as a reader, have to decipher what the fuck is real and what ain't. It's well, a mess. I mean, I, I've seen avocados yeah. in California. And I mean, uh, cut trees and trim trees and been in a, hundreds and hundreds of trees. I don't know how many avocado trees, but I tell you this much. I used to carry bagfuls of avocados. And now if you go to the store, they're like a buck a piece. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Old. I'll be right back. Okay. He has gone to get to Hannah her niece. <laughs> So looking at more Florida avocado information, difference between types of avocados, what's the difference between Haas and Florida? See, they're, they're calling the Haas a Californian. But I, so maybe I'm incorrect there. And maybe Florida avocados grow in California. Uh, learn about Florida avocado. Hmm. avocado. Is that tonight's topic is the Florida avocado? 
No. Well, what are you going to do when uh, when you run into people in public and it's seriously a freaking crime to call them by the wrong pronoun? <laughs> I read it on the internet. <laughs> like a his or a haws. Is it a his, a haws, or a her avocado? There's people in jail right now because of what they wrote on Facebook or Twitter. Am I right? Yeah, I know po- that part. Specifically, though, those two sites, right? They're both related, one to Twitter and, or to uh, Facebook. Or uh, are there other sites that are big enough where you can tell somebody something and get get uh, jail time for it? Well, the better question would be, is there any place that is small enough that you could write and not get uh, uh, where it would be captured in and taken you to jail with for Okay, well, all right, you improved the question. Now I don't understand what you're saying. I mean, could you say something somewhere like what? Like chewing on or something like that, whatever. Chewing on. I don't know what that means, Vinny. You're talking over. Q. Oh, Q. I thought you said chewing on. I'm thinking, what the fuck is chewing on? Listen, we've already gone past the avocados. Now we're. Okay, now we're into chewing on. on. No. Q. I was kidding, Vinny. Q. Yeah, I was, Q. I was kidding. <laughs> okay, get on. Get beyond the joke now, Vinny. Let's go. Let's Good grow. On. Grow with the times, Vinny. Change. Well, I know it's hard. Push yourself. There. You can yeah. do it. <laughs> Pipe things into some site, right? Well, <laughs> Facebook. What? A, yeah. Hey, I think they got a song for uh, Zuckerberg. You still on Facebook? No, I'm no. over here. No, I'm paused on the avocados over here. Yeah, but do you have a Facebook, open Facebook account, you criminal? I have a few. A few. So you're a multi-criminal. I am. I have uh, one, two, three of me in a, uh, uh, what's him, uh, public profile? (laughs) I don't know. I don't use the site. I'm just making. I got like 50, but I don't use them anymore. Vinny, I'm punking you because like, like money. YouTube and Google and Twitter and Facebook, all these things are fucking you. They're being used. Yeah, and I'm using. They're it gonna too. big business is gonna always use them. So <laughs> whether we boycott it or not, that's it's not gonna help. But you know what would really work? What would Matter stop fact, this whole? Some helpful ads sometimes. Sometimes I catch an ad. I figured out a way to fix everything, but it's gonna take three days. Just be grateful. You can't do it. I need three days of your yes. undivided attention in the world. And if everybody just said fuck off to everybody else for three days, at the end of that three days, they would be so glad <laughs> to see you. <laughs> Never mind. Now, a, a worldwide strike on everything. Everything. Hedonists, people of the world, pleasure yourself for three days. Don't go anywhere. Stay home. I do that yeah. all the time. Uh, but you are a special breed, my friend. You are as rare as my good friend, Mucho Dinero. You're welcome. Mm. No, he's a. it's his nickname. He's a dealer. Yeah. Yeah, Mucho down at the... Well, anyway. He's a good, well, not anymore, but once upon a time, when we did the business, we were friends. And now, we are distant. I live in the faraway land, in the storybook. Can you be friends with your drug dealer, man? Mm. Always was. Never. Yeah. (laughs) Have to be. So, that's not really dealing in, is it? Well. An exchange between friends? Traditionally. See, that's what I mean is TV has taken uh, has taken the public's perspective on my behavior as a pot smoker, right? And they've filled these idiots with all these movie stories and shit and took the humanity out of it, you know? Because there's so peri- uh, periods in my life I didn't smoke weed because I didn't know people good enough to want to buy it from them. If they had it. That's sad. 
Well, I traveled a lot. No, man. There was states where you get busted for weed, you go to jail. It is. They don't fuck around. You know. So you couldn't find anybody to facilitate the. the when drive. I was when I was hitchhiking through the USA, the last thing I wanted to do was end up in a jail cell. So I just did the least amount of crap to attract the police as I could. And they always like to stop a hitchhiker if they could. He was and a then good boy. the first thing they do, hey, you got any pot? So, hey, I learned not to carry pot on the road. Hey, I got deal uh, with that. I was riding along with a uh, old boy here mm-hmm. some years back. We got stopped by the state trooper. And yeah. Asked, hey, had what, what we had inside that won't know if I had any pot. I said, not yet. I said, hmm. you know where? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was traveling with a girl in uh, like 78. And we got turned on to a big bag. And that was the only time. And it's because I was with somebody else of the female persuasion. I felt safer. The cops weren't going to jack us up because we looked like we belonged together. When you're hitchhiking out there alone, it's a different world. Yeah. So I broke my rule that time and we took the weed. What would you do with it? Smoked it all the way to damn New York. And then no. up, yeah, up to Connecticut, and then down to New Jersey. It took, it took a couple of weeks. It was really it. good shit. We smoked it with everybody that would get high. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it lasted about 10 or 15, 10 or 14 days, somewhere like that, two weeks maybe. That's a lot of weed, dude. It was about an ounce, but it was yeah. really good. Man, it was potent. The guy that gave it to us, he had this beat-up old green car. I still remember the car. I think it was like a Pontiac. Anyway. That's so, the same dude he yeah, ride one time. And, he, and to, when state line, yeah, in Texas. Well, we're sitting there, and the car was so creepy looking. I had her get in the back seat, and I set up the front with him. And uh, he's talking to us, and he says, out of nowhere, he says, yo, get high. And I thought, oh, shit, he's going to throw us out of the car or something stupid like that. And I said, well, why? And he says, well, if you do, I got a can right there by your foot. <laughs> <laughs> and so I opened this <clears throat> Folgers can, I, a coffee can, Folgers kind of coffee, right? That size. And it's stuffed filled with pot. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And he's telling me, go on, roll us a joint. We got a few miles to go. Roll us a joint. We got time to smoke it. And uh, when we get out of the car, he said, he said, well, hold on a second. He says, take a little bit for the road. And he hands me a baggie. And I take a little bit. He says, no, fill that bag up to the top, son. This is last year's shit. We ain't got to this year's yet. <laughs> He's giving it away because it grows on the river wild. And it was really good shit, too. Nebraska, what a place to get to score something like that. It's like, that's what I mean. I got this life where the shit that's happened, most people, if I told them, they ah, that never happened. You're just making that up. I smoked some wild weed up there in Nebraska, and it was this old ditch weed. Did smoke a bushel basket of that? Never got high. Man, it looked good. Oh, good. oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The ditch weed. So yeah. he must have had some special. It was whatever. Man, he, we were in Nebraska. He was local. He was going to um, Tulsa. We were headed for Tulsa. I don't think he, he was going the whole way to Tulsa from wherever we see, were. Did you see me when you went through Tulsa? What year was it? No, 70, I think it was 77 or 78. I can't remember anymore. Uh, no, I think it was 78, been. though. I'm pretty sure. It might have been because uh, we were going to Atlantic City. It might have been 79. You know, they, so they I was in it. Banford hmm. uh, in 77, anyways. 79 was in Tulsa. Oh. Well. I, was between, I was between Mawapa Nevada, north of Vegas, and Tulsa. Yeah, but I'm to the point now in age where it's really difficult to remember what particular year. I I can remember the event yeah, sometimes right. more clearly than the year it happened because the years are so blurred. So many of them. Oh. Specific years. Hmm. Well, have you ever had to argue with anybody about their gender? Um. I read a lot about this on the interwebs, no, but I've never you know, met anybody that's had the the encounter. I just read about links. You know, read it on the internet. Have you ever met anybody that had transgender? 
Yeah, I have. So you didn't have like a, some uh, big debate with them about whether it's a... No, a it's really not something that the person that uh, I know from wanted to really discuss. It wasn't an issue. So, no. Was it... Uh, so what did you call this person? A he or... A... By their name. No, uh, I'm not even going to get it. See, all that shit never came up because I just used the name person went but i'm not gonna even mention it who it was or any of that i'm just saying yeah but what i i picked up off the person was it's none of your business it's just the way it is it's not for it to be spoken about it's just something it's like being a blonde or a brunette it wasn't an issue it was an identity thing, an identity thing mm. and i think that the public they're so bored, Vinny. They got nothing better to do than bitch and complain and snivel. So that's what they do. Yeah. And I'm telling you, people, I don't give a fuck. People are all the fucking same. It, nose to nose. It's this internet shit and radio and all this other crap makes you think different shit. But when we encounter each other in face to face, that's who you really are. You know, if you're a nasty prick and you're out there arguing with people in public all the fucking time, you'd have a jail record as long as my arm. There's a lot of people out there like that. Really. No, come on. Where? Where? World, man. I've seen them face to face. Okay. I've seen them rarely and I've traveled a bit. And I'm just saying, you know, is it the luck of the draw or is it the draw that you draw? I don't know. Maybe you just, uh, maybe I you had a guardian angel show no me. no 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 i don't believe in all that i believe and i'm going to say this one more thousand or two times ugly boy you draw your own fucking hand you get what you want if you really want it you get it whatever it is there's a lot to that but sometimes sometimes bad things happen to good people and you know how complicated the human brain really is you think you know what you want and then you find out once you get what you thought you want and then you go, uh-oh, <laughs> I didn't want this car. Shit, it's leaking oil. What the fuck am I going to do with it? Now i got to sell it. I can't get my money back. Ah. You know, but yeah. it looked good on the floor or the parking lot you bought it from or whatever. You got deceived by a salesman. Things happen, right? But you draw them to you is what I'm saying. Some level of it. You're interacting in it too. So, what's your part? Mm. Hey, picking the wrong way to turn on a street is the same thing. I turned left and I should have turned right. Okay, well, there's your error. Right there, you went the wrong way. There you go. And for some reason, and you call it luck or whatever, I don't know. I'm just real slow and methodical about how I do things, I think. I'm like a, like a turtle. Ask Cirque, she'll tell you. I'm slower than snail snot. But I'm impulsive about some things. But yeah, there you go. I'm kind of like a, how I look at politics. I'm liberal on this, and I'm conservative on that. So, what about you? Well, live and laugh. Live and learn. That's what I say. Yeah, well, you're, you're more about freedom than I am, too, on the oh, word yeah. in the word thing. So I, I say, too, though, is hmm. if things ain't working right for you, then try something different. Well, something like different. like what? Something different. Well, for, well, give me an example of something ain't working right, and then what would you do to fix it? Well, if you're in a bad relationship, hmm. if, uh, if your old lady beats you, then oh. leave, right? Well— Go are you gonna you gonna say people will laugh at me at you for? Oh wow! That? I've never had a problem me. like that. Okay. Well, some people do. What if it was a man beating a woman? A lot more help for them these days to be able to get out of those relationships. Wow. I mean, why, now look at some people stay. Let's take mm. the biggest example that I can think of mm. is uh, the the Mel Melania lady that's with uh, Trump. Yeah. Doesn't she have enough jewel stash that she could? get away or maybe she can't go far enough what if he says i will track you down wherever you go and kill you yeah because she'd have to surface somewhere somewhere It'd be harder to hide from him than it would be for like uh some other 
regular person. That, mm-hmm. uh, would have oh, yeah, because, yeah, all the attention that it's attracted over the years, all the cameras on you all the time. You can't move without somebody taking your picture. Ooh, that's not the life I'd want to live. Not for Did me. You said, uh, the Tabar man tweeted that mm-hmm. DARPA freaked people out with an urgent request for underground complex for unspecified research and experimentation. Yeah, I saw that earlier. Unspecified. So you're you're getting them news about nothing. So what's the point of even telling anybody that? Why even bring it up? Not you bring it up, but why bring it to the media or to the internet and expose it? Because it doesn't say anything. Okay, maybe huh. I'm, I'm. You don't see it the same way I do. Hmm. Surprise. <laughs> Indeed. Hey, I well, was up in- what did you just learn from what you read? What do you know now that you didn't know before? Mm, nothing. That's the way I see this. You know, because I'm sitting here in this little house, and all that stuff on the internet that I read about in so far away land or way over there, or even as close as Greenland, even though it, it even affects the politicians... <laughs> that you know rule the place i live in it still doesn't affect me affected the shit out of cirque boy i hadn't seen cirque so insulted over a, poli- a political thing until uh you know it was like who the fuck does he think he is trying to buy greenland <laughs> you know and it because the way it translated it wasn't an american thing anymore this is trump talking to the world like an individual different from the country you know he's going to buy it for himself build a hotel it you could. know charge those people a couple of hundred bucks a piece uh, to see his picture make Word. a movie give him an award for the best fucking hotel movie ever made you know because that's how this whole fucking game works man they make a movie about something they give it an award by some academy of one kind or another and they get uh, the public to praise it as whatever they want it to be known as and there was a guy that wrote a book about this shit happened and what was that called again 1984 <laughs> and i think the guy that wrote the book was one of the players i think he was involved in all this shit that's why he knew what to say probably because this plan has been around for a long time you know, writing about like Jules Verne, what years, who's a big writer buff out there? Jules Verne wrote a lot of like sci-fi shit, but I think it's from older days. Before the shit that, that, that he wrote about was possible, he was already writing about it. Very predictive. There's a lot of writers like that you can find. Well, they're not predicting anything, man. They were instructed what to write by their superiors, and they're just reporting it to us as, sh- as they should. Vincent, when you think about this one thing, the cops have no duty to protect you. That one thing right there alone, by itself, should warn you about what's going on in the world. Well, he was, uh, he was born in 1828 and died in 1905. Oh, you went and did the the time check for me. Thanks. So he wrote about a lot of things that were in his day. They were still just ideas. They couldn't physically do these things, but they they can now. He he wrote a a lot of incredible novels and great fame. And there's a little short list here. There's four. It says view 45 more uh, books. Journey to the center of the earth. 20,000 center of the sea. The mystery. Island yeah. around the world in 80 yeah, days. Yeah. What a, at that time, right? Yeah, see, goes into the uh, travel to space from Earth to the Moon. Exactly, so, that's the name. And back. way back in those days, way before these things were ever even common, and he's writing stories about them, and here they are happening. Well, not really happening, but the public believes they've happened. So all you need to do is just tell the right story to the right listener. And poof, you have a society. So, here's the list. It's pretty cool. Uh, five weeks in a balloon looks interesting. Oh, you know, you're still on the books. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. You, did, did you ever uh, listen to Jules uh, before the before the first? What was that? Before the first cup of Jules? 
I was a uh, part of UCY. For right. But did you ever listen to the show? Every day. Okay. I didn't, I was, but I did for a period because I had the opportunity. And she was really big on AI. Yeah. She knows her stuff. Okay. Now, I believe AI exists, but I think AI is financially out of the reach of the small guy like us. Okay. So I think AI is overrated. And you know what? When I said that on the RLM, you know what I got called? What? A dummy dumb head. Good for you. Oh, wow. Because, well, I mean, I don't see it at hand. AI, artificial intelligence. Everything I'm doing right now is still connected somewhere to a human being. Even if it is a screen in front of me, it's brought to me still at some level by human people. So where's the AI at? Cirque works with a computer stuff like this and that. And AI is appropriate where she works, but not at her level. She doesn't use it. So, hmm. see what I mean? Am I making a point about it, or am I just confusing the issue just that much more? Yeah, I think he's rambling. There. Ah, fuck. Well, let me try it like this. I guess it's the difference between um, knowing how to fix a, a car and actually fixing a car. <laughs> You know, everybody knows everything until it's time to do it. And then all of a sudden, well, I, you know, I'm in my good suit. I don't want to get dirty. <laughs> you know, uh, oh, I can't, I can't do that in these shoes. I, I got, I got bunions. <laughs> I can't, I can't help you. I got high blood pressure. <laughs> Does that mean that they really didn't know now they're trying to find a way out or they just make an excuse for not wanting to do it? I don't know. It could be both. Mm -hmm. it's it's up to see that's what i mean it's we are so used to being divided and conquered that it just act act kind of like happens like an uh like a normal thing now like a regular i know some people don't like the word but uh it's not unusual to just fall on one side of whatever's being spoken about and i don't like to pick sides vince you know that I like to say I don't give a fuck, and the more I, uh, the more I learn about these things on the internet, I guess I care a little bit because I like to talk about them. But they don't affect me. But they're they're real to the to the outside world. Well, let me tell you, let me give you a little backstory here. And uh, here's Donna posting. She says very funny. She said she listened to Jill's show when. Uh, uh, her friend was asleep and he'd wake up with nightmares of the robotic revolutionary <laughs> takeover. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, wow. Well, I, I started in uh, radio at UCY.TV and uh, Donna, there's there so many of us here that uh, find common connections and uh, Donna and I uh, share a friend, uh, James Freeland, who I met um, on one of my Western league trips and, that's how I got into radio. I met him, and man, this dude's doing radio, and that we're like talking forever. We have the whole bus, man. It, we captured the entire bus. Hmm. It's no, and then we broke down on the freeway. <laughs> in uh, where was we at? Over close to, uh, oh, there, I forgot. But it'll come back to me. Anyways, yeah. So it was awesome. No hmm. storm we're on the side of the interstate out there. Uh, connecting people together one by one you know this is, is uh um the world that we live in and each of us touch one another and so we probably want to be touching at each other in the right kind of way right well it's just a matter of your belief system mary sums it up like that i kind of agree with her to a to a point whatever so. whatever we've been uh, trained taught indoctrinated <laughs> To believe, you know, whatever whatever the method used on us was is the one that we live with. And I don't think, think it's I don't think stuff reality huh. that a person has anchor to, even through all the programming. You, you think that maybe that uh, well, that's some, why they went so uh, far out of their way to break up the family for the last fifty years, Vinny. Yeah, exactly. So that you wouldn't bond with your family. That was the whole point of the fifties and the sixties. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, if you look at the TV, 
right? And you look at the TV shows that were popular with the public, what the public actually had to pick from. It was all about these uh, bullshit families that didn't exist at the time. People didn't live like that. Ozzie Nelson, he never went to work. He was always home, always. He probably was a work-at-home guy. No, he, that was the point. Was he an architect right. or something? What was his job? It, in the show, they didn't really have a job. They never focused on that part of it. That was the whole point of why I think it's so ridiculous now. What about the Waltons? Now, that's one of the best of uh, all time. Okay, Waltons. here we go. That's not the 50s or the 60s, but okay. It's a good yeah, well, what was it? it was I, back, didn't, uh, I didn't see that much of it, so I really don't know. Well, it was back uh, during like the 30s. I think it was maybe 40s in there. Okay, so more programming to... Yeah, uh, it did It come in, I, I do believe it came in uh, like into the early 40s within the uh, time era, because I believe I, so, somebody in, joined up for the Army or something. <laughs> yeah. At the end of it? Well, I can't remember exactly now. Well, if but, it was at the end of it, it would have been, thir- at least the end of it would have been 39. That's, that's not when they 41. were making it. 41. 41 probably been. Hmm? That's when it was set in the time. Yeah, but I the know. U.S. didn't get into the World War II until 41. Well, real 42. They declared it in December, so they probably moved in January. Well, Unless we they were to, ready already and they just went, hey. We you. had to get oh. into the war because we forced them. I Jim- know. I know the we- truth about all that. I just never fucking talk about it. It is so... Good God, if you want to argue with people, tell them the fucking truth about an old war. And they will go nuts uh, protecting whatever side they believe is right. Because <laughs> maybe they had a grandpa that was war. Oh, man, it's so fucked up. I was so lucky. I thought uh, when I was a teenager, I thought going into the military was a way to get, uh, get to college. That's what my plan was. They and, didn't let me. But no, they didn't take me. But. When then, what? When I grew up and I looked back and I realized, wow, college was the fucking pit. You were right, <laughs> but you know I had family to to please, and <clears throat> when you come, you know, you get to be a certain age, you you, you have to stop fucking around, and so I decided, that, you know, just before I turned seventeen, I was going to be a good guy, and the good guys didn't want no part of me. So was you trying to be a yuppie, or because you sound kind of yuppie-ish? Yeah. Um, not yep. Middle class, I suppose. I'd have gone into law, learned how to speak legalese, just fucked everybody I ever encountered. Take you all to the bank. Gimme, 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 gimme. That was my plan. <laughs> I didn't know that was my plan. I thought I wanted to be a lawyer. I didn't know what a lawyer really did until I was a lot older. Hmm. Oh, what really helped. You really had to... What? Like, sounds like you have a really white, privileged uh, life. I That's what I would assume it would, it would be called, but I don't know. It's just like everybody else. Really? Yeah. You didn't have a special card or anything? No. Nah. Ran into all kinds of different kind of people out there. We were all the same. I didn't... Hmm. What you see and what you hear and what you do are not... They're not collective. You know, that's your own personal life. It's Did not, you ever get <laughs> lost when you were a child? How do you mean lost? Like lost. Like you. I ran lose. away. No, I was a runaway king. I never, I wasn't one to get lost. I was one to take off, to avoid. I was a little kid. I was in Circus Circus. And uh, mm. so I got a security guard. Yeah. Because I could, yeah, my mom disappeared. So, you know, I went <laughs> to the security guard. Do you know what I told him? No. Well, I didn't tell him I was lost. I told him my mom got lost. Yeah. Uh, okay. I was I got lost. Okay. Then what happened? I thought I was lost one time, but when I was in the woods, I was looking <laughs> at my, But I really wasn't. I was coming back. I just, well, things was not familiar, and I was like, uh, but I went the right way. I came back out of the woods. I sure Boy, the, and that's a hell of a thing to do, too. If you don't, I, I went farther than I'd ever gone before. I went. Way in over into Lindsay's woods over there. Have you ever for, have you ever uh, watched these movies where there's no trail or nothing, or there is there is like some kind of a, a walkway, but people don't they don't pay attention to where they've been. 
They just keep going forward. Hmm. Well, I don't go running through life like that. Well, I, I it appears that way, I suppose, but... Hmm. I guess I just make a decision faster than I think. But the forest is kind of, you, you need things that when you're traveling, you need things that are familiar so that you can get back to where you came from. Some signs, something, right? On the interstate, we have signs. In the wood, you get trees. Trees, water, something. Well, if you're not used to that kind of life, you're just going to walk in there and, and be disoriented immediately. And well, listen, I would say that uh, all trees look alike, but that would be speciest. Wait, wait. But see, I'm from the city, born and raised, too. I grew up in concrete, so I know the city. But if you put me out into the, the woods, I'm, it's a completely different world. I, don't, I get lost out there, out in that. If I don't have a path or guidelines or some kind of a landmarks to point a direction, I'm completely lost. You but, think you get off the Appalachian Trail without getting lost? No, but in a city, I can get I can get it around in a city just all over no matter what. But you in the in the woods, no, I don't know. Hey, How listen, deep in the woods am I to start? I've been so deep in the woods you don't see the sunshine because the trees are covering it all. I think that you and Cirque should come when you come to America. We're not we'll coming to America. No, you guys cured her of ever wanting to visit America. Oh wait a minute! I gotta interrupt this program. Donna, yeah. uh, do you have the uh, do you have the an archive for that uh, interview? Mike Chambers. Uh, oh, from, what's the name of that broadcast? His garage. He lives up here in Missouri. I've, uh, he went off air and he kind of just took to a quiet retirement. And I spoke to his daughter, uh, communicated with her anyways, and uh, she said he was like uh, ready to go back to living his own life. I guess people get tired of doing it you know over and over and talking about the same issues and uh, not uh, finding the response that uh, they're hoping for now our underground he uh i tried to introduce him over there to to chuck o'shelley maybe do a show but he's got his principles and this and that about uh people having to jump through the hoops that he would don't want to jump through but anyways i'd be really interested there donna about uh if you got the link to that i'd like to listen to that so she says, talking about her uh, uh, interviewing her about uh, the Browns, if you know who they are. Mm. Uh, they had a what do you call the standoff with the uh, with the feds, and it's like they got them for tax evasion or some kind of bull crap. It's they said the best one they got. Yeah, they you know what? Well. You know why it works? And they charged Bruce Doucette with also with the tax evasion on that. They, they, they get you. They get you through your signature, Vincent. You signed. You, you applied to do it. So when you apply to do shit, they hold it against you. Let me see. I'm reading. Uh, reading what Donna said. Now we have complete silence while Vinny reads. Oh, she got she got booted for dropping the f bombs. Yeah, said. I read it. And what about it? I'm fuck, 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 it's just a word. This this is radio wow. history right here. Wow. If you, yeah, well, because this goes back into the roots. There's, um, like I was saying earlier, where people connect hmm. and uh, this bring up this offspring of what we are today, of myself uh, in particular now, hmm. where all my roots stem back in here. These people that are influencers of people like Donna and uh, James Freeland and and so many others that uh, oh. have come, come and gone in doing this. Are you going to get emotional? Well, I. Are you going to get emotional now? I believe I already did. Oh, do you want a hanky? No, I mean, you don't see me dripping tears. Yeah, I can't see you, Vinny. And I can only hear you. Well, you would hear I me. have not been monsanto yet, sir. <laughs> I still, I'm still physically normal. Okay. Well, uh, no, I'm glad you're impressed with my news. Anti, uh, hmm. yeah, the f bomb. Yeah, I mean, it could be said here, but should it be said here? Go what flash the, it. Oh, what does it matter? You know what? Crying out loud! What a bunch of babies! It's just like me getting mad at you over uh, something you said that rocked my, you know, my understanding of shit. 
so to speak. You know what I mean? Where I thought one thing and you said something and it made me think, hey, you were full of shit, blah, blah, blah. So I hurt your feelings. yeah, but that's what having your feelings hurt by somebody that you trust is about. Basically, is something was said that you didn't hear correctly or you took it wrong or it was said badly, whatever. So if there's no intention to get you to be pissed off, it doesn't stop you from being pissed. It doesn't matter about the intention at that point. It's the interpretation of what was said. And that can flow any fucking way you want. You can control it if you can think of it. But usually when we're emotional, we just react to each other like a bunch of monkeys. Start throwing shit. <laughs> and there it goes my wife. <laughs> I'm not mute neither, so go ahead. Cirque's <laughs> ranting in the background. Wow. Live from Denmark, the show with your host, <laughs> Johnny. Wow, that was a Cirque. <laughs> hey, did you see the picture of me? I posted the. No. You seen the book riding video? Did you? You made the the bronc busting. I saw the I wait a minute. What? No, I only saw the one of you, of you on the uh, electric thing. Oh, I, yeah, I had one on the uh, one of them uh, bucking ponies too. Yeah, but you're a real cow. You know, you're a real cowboy guy out there in the real world. You know, physically. So that's really. I just do throw that at you because it was funny. I, I don't think you know, it, it was amusing that you you <laughs> that you could do that because you really did shit. It, <laughs> it's like riding a little bicycle, you know, a little tricycle, okay, you I know, to that. to be funny because it's funny. Oh. <laughs> Not to say that you're a clown and your only purpose here is to make me fucking laugh or anything, but uh, you are kind of funny. <laughs> What's there, don't you like clowns? <laughs> that was such a great film. <laughs> Class. Wow, yeah, the guy. Oh, I seen you know I seen one of his. Uh, he's made a lot of money in his life, so he's he's got a nice couple of properties, and he got one on the East Coast, I think in Connecticut, and it just shows you that that you're getting screwed with the appearance that he portrays in public. It's a big show, and yeah. the guy, the way he lives, that's nothing like the guy you see in <laughs> in public. So it was enlightening, you know, to to me to see the performance part of it come out and no judge it, else. but judge it by the way he's showing off how he lives. Yeah, you and, know what else is enlightening? What? Electricity. Is it? Where does electricity come from, Uncle Vinny? Enlightening. Okay, let if I want to put electricity into a battery and save it, where does the electricity come from? Well, it's uh, an excitement of molecules. No, no, around. no, no. What what source of fuel is making my electricity? Is it oil, perhaps, or is it, it is it electricity? I mean, it's a motor, and uh, it's a, rotating around a magnetic core and these uh, coils, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And it what what it. fuels what fuels your engine? Move movement. What hmm. so your question more aptly then is what uh, fuels the movement? Then what are we burning all this oil for if you don't need to? Because it's cheap and easy and it's monopolized and hmm. it's a well, great way to to uh, run control games. On cheap. The whole huh? You you call this shit they're doing with petroleum cheap? You got a nerve, Mister Millionaire Boy. You realize the the cost. Even if it was five bucks a gallon for gasoline or petrol hmm. or five hundred or five mm. five pounds mm. if we're over there in the european zone uh watch your step if uh, you're over there where they're european zone. they got a euro now and the, england doesn't use the euro they still had the pound when i was there it don't matter whatever the no it doesn't matter you just said oh, you got well i'm just and england's you. not europe either they consider their self <laughs> the united kingdom it's weird right. It's like calling you a Yankee, Mr. Freaking I Arkansas. A European. Listen, uh, hey, she hmm. call me a Yankee so I can call her a European. Yeah, you uh, sure? I don't give a fuck. It's all the same crap you? to me. You guys are all delusional as far as I can tell. Here's Frumpy. Where's your freaking country? I don't see it. I see fuck all. I see a TV screen and a 
keyboard. Anyway, what were we arguing about? I, I got kind of sidetracked. Oh, I was telling you things and you were saying other things. That's what we do here on 20% off. Oh, usually do it well, alone. I, I left off with Donna mm -hmm. and the uh, micro broadcasters taking over the low end of the uh, radio spectrum. Mm -hmm. Micro broadcasters. Yes, that's right. Okay. Uh, so Donna, yeah, she was part of that. And she uh, was oh, talking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She went with Ed and Elaine Brown when uh, they had to uh, sit in in their own home mm -hmm. while they were by uh, federal law enforcement agencies. Mm -hmm. um, and she got booted off because she was saying the F bomb. Of course. Bad Donna. Boo. Yeah. I don't know. It's just. Somebody get that duck. It's see, shot. That's what I mean. Until, until you allow yourself to read something in a negative way. It doesn't matter. It's how you read shit. And just, I understand that. Some people, the, the way they write rocks me, so I cannot enjoy their writing. Who's writing? I'm going to say who. I'm just going to use it as a, okay, you know, him. R. Yeah, R. him. But, the you know. And I, after a while, I know what he's going to write. It's boring, blah, blah. So I throw him on Iggy for a while. And it relieves that, you know, then the curiosity builds and I look and see, hey, maybe it's changed. And now nah, it's still the same. <laughs> but hey, we've got some new folks that have come along over here to Real Liberty Media. And I noticed in. that. Yeah, Daniel of late. And yeah, we have uh, Prince uh, in big part. To think. Coming up at, uh, a little later today, too, with their own shit. Uh -huh, that's right. The Poopster and the Prince. Well, here's Chascura. Hmm. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. And you're well, continuing a lot of people, with. A lot of people don't really get, uh, you know, know the whole uh, works of what's going on around over here and who the peoples are. And like the founder, our, our very own uh, great Grimner. And so uh, along from the beginning, people like Beth Z and others that have been here for a very, very long time. Others. And others that uh, have come along in the last few years. Last few years. My, my roots here at Real Liberty Media are from uh, UCY.TV. Hmm. I've, uh, I've found a few of our uh, previous uh, inhabitants at the uh, UCY.TV chat channel have uh, come over here to Real Liberty Media. <laughs> to the, the little family of misfits that we all be. A lot of people have, uh, have gotten into some... Oh, what were you calling them a while ago? Words, I think, were being thrown about. Yeah. Making some people not happy. Yeah, because that's what we do. We're, we irritate each other. That's what human beings do when they get in groups. They irritate the fuck out of each other until somebody snaps. That's what we do. Sad, isn't it? Yeah. And until, uh, I guess... Whatever situation I'm in, until I figure out where I stand in it, I'm volatile. But now I don't give a fuck. I went through my volatile stage. Now I got to the other side and don't give a shit. But it was something I had to do it. You can't do it for me. I can't I, do it for you neither, Vinny. I can do it. I got ducks. Yeah, you. Can, I, I don't play that duck thing. Eh, still don't. Whoa, you got a mini ducks. 400 and a 49 killed. Ooh, you merchant of death. Fuck you. Wow. Oh, yeah. I actually killed one of Chloe's ducks. I've been oh, off. Did you? 376. We tied at uh, yeah. 345, I think it was, yeah. of branded ducks. Yeah, I think I'm ahead of her now. But did I, ever, work did I ever tell you what my wife teases me about live on the radio? Yeah, but tell me again. That I don't like to kill shit. Anything. I don't like to kill bugs. I don't even like to trim plants. It's just, yeah. I don't know. It's like you're whacking shit down, killing it, and destroying it. But, see, to her, the end result is that neat and clean line in the yards, all level and all that crap. And I like the bushy, freaking overgrown fucking jungle look. And nobody else does. They all tell me I'm crazy. So... 
just Kuro. I gotta finish up on here. He didn't. Uh, he didn't know about other channels. And uh, know I know. Hey, I was pontificating. Well, I was getting uh, to the point though. Is my wife, the sweetheart circle, calls me a sissy because I don't like to kill shit. You're a sissy boy. Yeah, because I don't want to kill anything. Hey, wait a minute. That doesn't mean I won't. That just means I really don't want to. You know. Don't put me in a position in life where I have to defend something. That's not fair. So, I think whatever that's... whatever rules my life has given me a life stress free from you know outside assholes physically interfering with my uh, pursuit of happiness. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but you're in the chat, and mm. I'm gonna slap you a little bit. Watch oh, this. I don't care about that. Watch, watch this. Oh, oh snap! He's going to hit me with a trout. Right in the face. Hey, man, I'm going to get ha Hank over here, and he's going to fucking set you right. Don't fuck him cricket. up, man. You know that? Oh. oh, you smacked me with a cricket bat. Ouch, in the face. Hey. Like it? No, oh, it's pretty bad. I I feel so hurt. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? I think I will respond to you with this. Uh, hmm, how's that? Anyway, so. I don't know. There's uh, there's a lot of disagreement about major issues, okay? That both you know, here's the catchy part, right? They both at the same time they do affect us, and at the same moment they don't affect us. And I'm, what I'm specifically referring to is I had a disagreement with somebody about forced inoculations. And how I mean forced is mandated by Mother Tit. You know, if Mother Tit wants a fucking inoculation, then Mother Tit should get one. And if I don't want one, I don't care if you put a fucking armband on me to identify it. I ain't going to put a fucking shot in my arm. <laughs> Would you take the armband? But they won't. See, they, they'll take you down and force you to do the shot now, man. It's mandatory in some places. I got the subtitle for you today. Oh, I don't even have a title, my friend. What are we going to call it? I'm going to enter in right now. Uh, are you at serious risk? Is That's your okay. mental... Oh, perfect, perfect. Are you at serious risk? Oh. And then what I got... Oh, okay. That's yeah, oh, good. That's... Excellent, Yago. I haven't made notes yet. I guess I better start my notes. Boy, this is a lot to do when you do radio, people. Let me tell you. Type, 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 talk, talk, talk. Whew. No rest for the wicked. <laughs> I got you. Dude. Anyway. Hey, you know, I could get Hank over here to put you in uh, in your place and set you straight. He's, he's Hank. You don't know who Hank is? Oh, I got a friend. His name is <clears throat> Henry Kissinger. And he usually he stops by the dork table to fuck with Mary. But, well, Mary's not around no more. She doesn't like him. So I had to s stop him from coming. <laughs> But for wait, you, wait, wait. <laughs> I might bring him back. Bring him back. Are you a serious risk or was it are you at serious risk? Are you at serious risk? Okay. Yeah, because you got to victimize Americans now. Man, I'm telling you, the West is the best. Until you start banning shit, prohibiting shit, illegalizing and legalizing all that crap that you fucking think is wonderful. That's where all the chains start. I'm going to ban it. It'll not happen in my neighborhood. What? Bans and bats, right? I don't know. Bans and something. Yeah. Okay. So. And beat them in the head. So in that order, are you at serious risk? Major issues, private matters. You like it? That's it. Hey, I don't care if I like it or not. That's her title. Love it. Oh, here you want praise. Oh, boy. Everybody wants to be reassured that they are yes, wonderful. I, I always defer to you for major billing. Yeah. Well, can't yeah. you just look in the mirror and go, damn, you're a rather handsome fellow, and just be happy with that? Do you always I, have to have my approval? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Vincenzo. I'm kidding serious. around here. You're Very serious. Nice. What do you about, what are you serious about? About you saying nice things about me. Why? Say, say, 
Say something pretty. Uh, okay. That Make me feel. you are not a cop. You are not an FBI agent. You are not a CIA agent. Those are nice you know, things. I was actually accused of being an FBI agent. <laughs> By, uh, I'm sorry, Vinny. <laughs> Who, you know what? Just, were they crazy just, or what? <laughs> they're, they're like, uh, man, they are so deeply involved nationwide with people and, and pu- pushing these people into to making uh, action and to doing things and saying words and so forth. Hmm. I got to get with Brand Thornton. I, his friend, he's down in Florida. But he is like uh, big money and uh, big motivation behind people like uh, Bruce Doucette, who, like 40 something years in federal prison the rest of his life. Mm. What, what, he was such a really a nice guy. I talked to a lot of people that knew him personally, both uh, uh, well by phone and in uh, private messaging and in person while he's in, in Denver. Uh, this guy was, he, he would. And has out literally given the shirt off his back to people. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, one of the things they used on him too was the, the IRS crap. Oh yeah. You know, well, there's no way to argue it. Yeah. And then they stack them one on top of another. Superseding indictments come about, and yeah. you now they got the real FBI people up in there. Uh, they're actually steering to make crime happen, and uh, it's really really sad. So, anyways, this guy. Uh, Brand Thornton and I stayed at uh, Kim uh, and uh, Bruce's home while uh, while we were there for a week. And uh, so when we left, this one guy who was really uh, was behind the this, this thing. It's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> yeah, and he, so he says that, uh, that uh, Brand and I were there to uh, as uh, FBI agents to uh, get in there and snoop through her stuff. And, and I make this uh, public again right now at uh and, and the kitchen the kitchen i already told you know food yeah ice box she's all like help yourself and man mm. tell me that mm. yeah. <laughs> hey i got a technical egghead question wait, wait, for you wait, hold it though no. but seriously oh, uh, okay. i never crossed any boundary not into her bedroom never looked through the uh bathroom cupboards uh never nothing except for the kitchen that's all in the food so ah. that's did you get accused of it though yeah 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 yeah. i said i was there and uh looking for uh evidence and stuff were you no okay did you find any i never looked there you go i was waiting for you to say no but i have a serious irs question for you out of curiosity okay all right because you're you're familiar with this to better than a lot of people now the question is simple how many IRS cases where the IRS tries to collect actually go to SCOTUS? I don't know. Well, because the technicality of the Internal Revenue Service is when you sign the document to apply, you've, you've contracted. You willingly contract. Oh, wait a minute. I think they say it backwards so they can trap you, but that's me. You know, are you... But, I mean, there's all these million, Willie Nelson, who, the, how, how many um, big people did they get on this bogus tax evasion shit because they couldn't prove anything else? But did those cases they proved, were they admiralty court or did they go to SCOTUS to prove it? I'm trying to think of this one guy's name. He was down in Florida. He was a, uh, uh, like a preacher guy, but uh, had more of a, uh, a creation type uh, bias religion thing going on selling books or whatever mm-hmm. he didn't uh withhold taxes for the people that were like part of it you might as well just call it a church you know and really why would you have to apply for any type of tax exam <laughs> I don't you've, got to be, you've got to consent to the government to be a church i mean so mm-hmm. all regular churches are uh, state-sponsored religion in the sense uh, to get this tax exempt status from the irs but anyways yeah he goes to prison for not withholding taxes from his employees exactly and they get but did it go to the scotus or was it all performed in admiralty court that's the question i don't know how to find an answer to uh, i don't know I how to take, ask it properly probably but i'm trying <clears throat> I'll, I'll give you uh 
firsthand account as a witness to, to how that worked. When I was at Bruce Doucette's trial, the FBI uh, agent, he was in charge of the, the whole deal, and plus he was in charge inside the courtroom with you know, prosecution, the U.S. Marshal's uh, agent. No. Anyway, so... Um, what was I going to say about it? Well, what I'm saying is the Admiralty Court usually handles it. Yeah, that right there. That and the right reason there. that the Admiralty Court handles it is they don't allow the argument that there's no there's no law in the books to collect income tax. Yeah, there's not. But there's they, not. But they don't. The judge in Admiralty Court cannot listen to your side if he doesn't want to. So what they figured out to do was to stop hearing it. Hey, if they don't say it, it never happened. Admiralty Court. <laughs> well, so what I was going to say about this is uh, Ryan English, he testified and he was able to get up there and testify before uh, Bruce Doucette was able to present his his stuff. So what do you do? He'd get up there and, and set up his testimony for failure by giving alternative explanations. And part of that was is uh, these different agencies like the FBI itself uh, incorporated uh, separately and not part of the government. And his answer was that, uh, well, they're parts of it. <laughs> Corporation just means that it's like legally things. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what it means. Yeah. Uh, try impersonating an FBI agent sometime and get caught and see how, how it's just a play, you know? So Ryan English says how all these things they really don't matter it's just a matter of words right it's just the misinterpretation of words so yeah you're you're not going to get in there and be able to say this is an admiralty court which uh um you know and all the flag business so he, ryan english just kind of shot all that down before it ever had a chance to you know come to fruition for mm -hmm. the church to hear mm -hmm. and of course they had their instructions on how they have to interpret all that yeah is instructed freedom yeah. and that's so, something but but the, still the end i wonder how many of these cases ever make it to scotus because it's so damn expensive to go to scotus but a lot of people shouldn't it, there's people like uh schaefer cox he trying to bring his uh, conviction um you know he's got a lot of more years to go there's people like todd engel you know to, they have they have cases filed and some of uh yeah, and then they cherry pick what they're going to hear and, you know, what day of the week am I going to hear it on? And, oh, I need my nails done. Oh, please. This is not law. This is, I don't know what to fucking call this shit that we do, but I don't agree with any of you. <laughs> not you, not Grimm, not nobody. I've got my own version of it. See, that's the thing about the individual. You can't explain yourself in a take forever so we assume a lot of shit because of what we know about other shit it's all crazy, crazy. doesn't yeah so i just call uh, anarchist scum we're so fucked up at real liberty media we don't even we're not even anarchists <laughs> we don't even belong in a group that doesn't exist it's weird well that sounds like fun. well it takes a lot of um wanting to be free of something to get you to a real liberty media.com people don't you, just accidentally show up here and stick around why don't you just accept your servitude sir i did but my servitude is to my wife not to you try harder no you try harder see everybody's always wanting to enslave me you prick Unhand me, sir. <laughs> how, how, how hard have you voted? <laughs> never. <laughs> I have never voted. I've never even registered to vote. I have a complete I, nothing. There's nothing on paper for me. It's very, very sad. <laughs> I snuck through the cracks of life just by chance or something. I don't even know. It just happened. And I rode with it, and this is where I went. Boom. <laughs> Oh, man, I am the guy that your parents warned you not to hang out with when you were growing up. <laughs> He'll just get you in trouble. <laughs> well, no, but that was the way it appeared to the, uh, you know, the straight laced going to work nine to five people. They thought I was hell on wheels, but 
I wasn't. I just didn't want to be one of them. Once I was kicked out of that uh, military thing, they said no. Then it was on. <laughs> I said, oh, really? Huh? Hmm. We'll see. And here I am. They didn't kill me, right? And they say what does not kill you makes you stronger. Well, I didn't write that, but I, I have heard it. <laughs> I uh, I what? heard a little version of that. Are you no, reading? No. No? What are you doing? I was wishing a big old wolf turd out of my, I, my pipe got st Oh, isn't that just, thanks for telling me. I'm glad I asked you, Vinny. Because Vinny is the most honest stuff, guy uh, on radio. What? My pipe got stuff. Thank you. You're welcome. I think I'm going to do that myself. I think a pipe load is in order right now. To oh. celebrate the time of day. Because it's 420. Boy. Somewhere. Maybe not here. Oh. Ah. What time is it where you're at now? Got it. What time is it? 2.19. Ah! Oh, my clocks are off again. Okay. Okay, yeah, my clocks are running fast. Oh, there it is. Remember that happened last time and I had to get a thing from um, Grimner to reset my freaking clock. And it's like automatic by something. So, wait a minute. How does my clock always run fast? I don't understand that. Am I really living in your future? <laughs> <laughs> Climate change. Boy, there's some dumb wads out there in the real world, aren't there, Vincent? Climate fucking change is going to kill us, though. I mean, but look at the track record they've got to. Stop. You guys are being deceived. Both both sides of the matter are being deceived on the whole climate change. Yes, the climate is changing. Has changed. <laughs> it has. It's, it's quite hey, anybody that'll look and see that. Climate today is not the climate of yesterday. Yeah. What is your source of information? By itself. Oh, you you know this for a fact. Yep. Okay. A, All right. I, what what if somebody's lived in their the, uh, where they're at? I a reporter yeah. and uh, a law enforcement officer agent uh, of being, but I'm also a scientist. Oh wow! You got a resume? With what? As long as my freaking never mind. Okay. My, my credentials are observation. I'm an observation. Yeah. Well, see, what, what the public out there doesn't know that you know is the whole difference to, to the whole thing. You know, uh, official is not what you think official is. <laughs> Let's just say that. Yeah. I've almost got my it, instrument. Is that fair to, to chop it up like that and just spit that out there and make them wonder? Hey, Donna Van Meter is cough coughing along with the 20% off program tonight. And look, there is Grimner posting network time synchronization tool. Thank you, Grimner. It. That's a, a big old that. right there. I know. I wasn't really asking for it either. I'm only like 30 seconds too fast this time. But... uh I'm going to do that after the show. I got an open link for it now. So, now 422. Da, 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 da. Or not. Anyway, are you ever going to be a homeless guy living on the streets of Los Angeles to do a, a an undercover report to uh, yeah. give us the real, you know, the real shit, what's going on in the world? You know, I'd be a bed bugs and uh scabies and uh rat you'd be the only bum in the street with a cell phone and a bank card no no you not. wouldn't they probably all got them huh they a lot yeah. a lot a lot of got them really yeah you don't see them no i don't see that's what i mean i'm in denmark i just read about shit i have no fucking clue you find it on youtube oh i don't i try not to i no i you know hmm. as it open their youtube account in eight years Ooh. oh i've opened the youtube years? account but i just use it for bullshit movies uh music and uh but that's about it i just open the old shit that are these new people and all these algorithm things and control and fuck you tell me what you to know, watch no, i no, won't no. learn anything that'll show you eh, eh, eh. what do you think you know how YouTube, you know how many youtube accounts i have 17 no, I don't close. know. You said, do I know? I guessed a number. 
you're pretty close. 17 black. What? I think if you took 17, one minus seven, about six, somewhere about there, five or six, maybe. Okay. I could go look for you if you'd like to know. I don't really care. I actually have, uh, well, I'm, I'm also. No, uh, I hate to tell you, Vince. The, no, <laughs> the number of YouTube accounts that you possess does not interest me. You know what interests yeah. me? Why? Why the hell are you on YouTube and Google and Twitter okay, and it. Facebook all at the I'm same not, time? I'm not going to tell you one of these accounts. You're like an energy thing. vampire. You're just it's sucking it all up. No. But there is there is uh, what matters worldwide. You see why TV Vince. There's uh, Vince Easley, there's Ponder Gander, there's Vincent Easley the second, there's Vincent Easley. And then right there at the top is Real Liberty Media. Yeah. That's one you can go hit and subscribe. Hey, I got a new subscriber. I hit 200 the other day, and I got 201. I want to ask Grim a question, and I'll wait for the answer. to He can type want, it to me. I want to uh, go to 500 for Real Liberty Media. Are you going to help me do it, Flash? Yeah, we need to absolutely. Right. But I want to I want to update my clock. If I do it now, or should I wait till after the show's over? Wait till no, wait till after the show, buddy. Okay. Yeah, let's not go to pushing any buttons. Okay. Okay, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Five hundred. Okay, what are we doing? You tell me. We did it at. Right, so hey, we the, did it with YouTube, and we'll do whatever. See, when me and you decide to do shit, we just get there and do it. Oh yeah, that's the one that's we it. ought to be. It's the uh, bit, bit shoot, shoot. Not, yeah. But I'd like to see Real Liberty Media go to 500 here on the. YouTube. But we have we have a history where we've actually done it because we're obnoxious assholes and we bother people. Right, <laughs> tell well, them, listen, tell them that you I'm, want us to stop. Sign the papers. <laughs> create it. Create this link then for the YouTube channel. Me right now, I ain't create. I got a pipe in my hand. I ain't creating shit until after the show's over. Uh, you want me to screw us right out of the uh, <laughs> the broadcast? <laughs> we still got a half hour left. What? You don't want to play no more? Are you trying to get get um, no, an early night? I, I was trying to help you. Oh, I understand that, but right now I'm I've got a pipe in one hand, a I, mic and you know strapped to my I ears. Actually, I was trying to jerk your chain and patronize you a little bit but you never took the bait so i had to move on oh because i i don't do i just do this because i enjoy it it gives me a giggle to uh tell stories and listen to stories play around and have arguments on the radio hey and, do you laugh uh, do you laugh when people say are you stupid no <laughs> no no, that's because the, the, the quality – see, I was talking about this regarding a bartender friend of mine, and I used the term female loosely. And all I meant was the quality of people I interact with are usually intelligent people. It's like I don't draw the dummy dumbheads. They, they, don't, they don't seem to be interested in me. People that show me some kind of curiosity or interest are usually intelligent, and they're, they're interesting to speak to. And the dummy dumbheads that ignore me are doing me a great favor. They're servant man, it's pleasure to sit there and not be bored with your drivel, you know, if that were the case. So you know, it's like I that charmed life thing. I got just got a thing. I don't know. I don't do a lot of complaining because my life is pretty fucking good. And uh I don't think that outside forces are the thing that I judge my life on. They're just the events. But the the personal, how I feel about being alive is good. I plan to be around a while. I'm not looking forward to the zombie apocalypse and crawling over the the wastelands in search for a brain to feed on. Or none of that shit. That's like comedy to me. But to hey. other people... They're freaking stockpiling food and water and hoarding and preparing because where they live, there's a reality that could happen. Could happen. And I think it's possible anywhere. It's just some places is less likely because of where you are strategically on the globe. <laughs> hey, dummy, dumb heads. Yeah. Graham one up it and says, dorky, dorkos. <laughs> Wow, you guys are funny. What are we going to do without, you know, 
Oh, we're going to lose Miss Mary. I'm going to be so sad. Well, I read earlier that she's just taking a break from the radio for a bit. She's kind of busy. I understand that. Because, you know, a couple hours a day to do this twice a week adds up. You know, that's time you could be, you know, doing other things. So, a vacation is in order, but, boy, I'm going to cry like a little bitch if she doesn't come back sometime. <laughs> I like listening to her. Go figure. And we were friends. Uh, we were friends before she got really into, involved in the radio thing on the Internet. So, uh and I, I used to call her when she was on the radio and, and just talk to her, but the she didn't have me set up so they could hear me on the radio. <laughs> it was hysterical, pity. I had so much fun. You were you've been uh, Grammy's handler then? No, just talking to her uh, while she was live, where Is she Grammy could hear me, but the radio back. audience couldn't. Maybe you're getting tired. Is that you? Have you been faking being Grammy Mary all this time? No, absolutely not. Have you? Because Cirque and Mary used to um, co-deal the uh, WT at the end. After Ant got rid of it, yeah. Cirque and Mary got control of it. And Mary had it all on paper. So there you go. But that's how I ended you... up at RLM was through when Mary got rid of WT, I came with him, with her, in a search. You know what I had? I had heard. Wait. What I heard? What did you heard? That Mary had a little lamb. Oh, yeah. Its fleece was white as snow, whitey. You've heard the, you've heard the rumor. They're true then. Hey, you know, you might be on to something with that white privilege thing. And I'll give you an example of why I, I you might be on to something. But it goes back to 1982. Hmm? Go ahead. Okay, I'm hitchhiking. I decide I want to go to New Orleans to check out the Mardi Gras. I've never been to a Mardi Gras my whole life. But I'd read about it. And people told me stories about it, but I'd never been to one. So that year, I specifically was headed for New Orleans. And I oh, hitchhiked man. in, completely fucking get there, fucking flat ass broke. I think I had a buck in my pocket or something. It was just broke. And I so, so I, I'm down in the French Quarter. I found Bourbon Street and uh, Canal Street, I think. And so I follow Bourbon Street, and I'm going down, and I see this hot dogs thing. So I stop at the hot dog cart, and I'm checking out, and I'm looking, and I'm counting my money. And, and the guy says, well, what do you got? And I went, oh, okay. So he sold me a hot dog for what I had, and, and then he kept me around so he could ch chitter-chatter a little bit. like a, It was like an interview like informal because uh -huh. you know he's, where are you going where you been where are you from because i had a backpack with me so he knew i was traveling and uh what turns out happening the hot dog vendor wanted somebody to watch his cart for him so he could go off and drink right on well he figured i was tr for some reason i had seemed trustworthy enough that after a, a couple of days of talking with me i could run his cart for him for a fee so I did, and then I went back a second year and did it again. So what was you eating for those two days? God, whatever I could get my hands on, I guess. Probably um, selling bottles. You know, you pick up cans and shit like that when you're flat-ass broke. I mean, there's just when I was young. I was just bumming around. It was not – didn't think of it. it hmm. You always find work. Anyway, that's how I ended up. I'm looking for some real work. What? wonder what the fuck I'm going to get, you know? Living rough and all that. So, well, he had an apartment on Royal Street. He says, well, if you're going to work my cart, you're going to need to be clean. So you can come over and clean up at my place. Now, Royal Street's over there, Jackson Square, right? No, the other side, uh, if oh. I'm right. No, I can't remember. Fuck, you're talking so many years ago. But No, Royal Street's uh, Conti and Royal. Oh, I can't remember without looking at the map anymore, Vinny. But uh, I was working the cart on Bourbon and St. Anne, and St. Anne was the, where the gay section started. It was like public knowledge. Everybody knew this, till, except me. I didn't know until I got there and decided that you know, I was going to do the job. I had no clue. Didn't bother me or anything, but it was just like a, I don't know, not a culture shock because I grew up in L.A., but it was just weird to uh, be a public vendor barking at people and all this interaction oh, man, man, he gets your girl a weenie. and i'm screaming this 
uh, across the street from a gay bar. <laughs> it was just so many variables in the in the situation. Okay, okay. Oh, man, he get your yeah. guy. No, I I didn't ever push it that far. Nah, some of those fags are kind of strong and they don't they like to fight. I seen a guy fight one time. It was a biker fucking guy fighting this other guy, and we, you know, the fight's over, and he gets up and he says, "There's two things I like to do: Sounds suck, like way, suck no. dick, and fight." And I about wow, I went holy fuck. <laughs> I went okay. So I seen a on Bourbon Street, and he had a yellow sundress and a. Big old bonnet on. Big old burly guys. Oh, there. yeah. Oh, remember the, when you could yell up from the street, show your tits, and the girls would show their tits? I don't think they can do that anymore. No, either. no, no, no. This, I was there in 80 freaking 2 and 83, oh, wow. Vinny. This is a long time ago. Uh, I was, uh, yeah, I think the first, well, when was the first time I went to New Orleans? I think it was about 1982. I lived in Baton Rouge and went down the road to bus down there. Oh, I've been back since, and they got gambling in there. I was out there after 2000 and something, about 2005 or six, maybe. I can't remember the exact year, but, yeah, they had gambling and hotels and casinos. I was down north of there. <laughs> I don't know, went back about 2011 or something like that. You yeah. ever been to Biloxi, Mississippi? Yeah. You know that that piece of beach where you walk, uh, where all the nice homes are, the old old homes on the coast. No. Well, oh well, I thought you'd been there. They put I, hotel. I, yeah, they had hotels and casinos up there. With last time I was there, but um, before that, in the same road was just a bunch of these old homes, big, not huge, but you know, good sized homes, and yeah. it set way back off the road, and it was real. It was nice to hitchhike through there, or walk through, or whatever. I used to drive through there all the time. I stopped at the <coughs> had like a boat anchor to stop in the water right there that had a casino. Yeah, they had a casino. I've spent a few weeks anyway. Yeah, whatever. A few days or eight weeks. But things change, man. And we're not we're not handling the changes that we're being put through. And the things that are changing are not the things we're told are changing. They're other things. Did you know that there's people on the RLM, for example, who uh, who think it's okay to go along with the official story the government gives us. Why not? Mm. Well, what good what good comes of all that? Keeps order. We've got to have order. How people? If we didn't have people in order, it'd be chaos. Well, we have chaos. It so where, where where is your imaginary order? Order order or unorder, which do you prefer? Doesn't matter. We have chaos. You can call it what you like. It's yeah, still fucking chaos, Vince. World chaos. This life is run so badly. I believe Larry Woods, okay? I believe that the system is delivered on a frequency that is bad for us. All these illnesses and diseases are a result of what we're fed. There you go. That's your body reacting to something. And then they tell you shit like, well, you could catch it from the air. It's airborne. How, well, okay, what? how come the dog doesn't get it? What is it? Any kind of illness. Well, Think some... about it, right? What? If I caught the fucking flu. Or... Wait a minute, let me finish. Vin, Vinny. If I caught the flu and was infectious, my dog ain't going to catch it. Why not? Because you're different species. It doesn't. It travels on certain uh, blood pathogens and other ways that. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Now, so now, right there is that one one sen- that that starts you with one person is not going to react the same as everybody else. <laughs> well, no, no. Oh yeah. Sure, you just open the door for possibility in the original species to me. Say, so, well, the dog's not going to get it. Okay, well, let's see. What about a human? Have you ever been around somebody that was ill and not got what they had? I have yeah. many, 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 many times. And how do I know that? Because I've never been ill from a contractual illness. Really? You've never had the flu? Not that's uh, um, that's not ill. That's a f- uh, flu. It goes away. You, you vitamin C right the fuck out of it. 
take you about 24 hours if you're healthy. Depends on yeah what. Uh, and the healthier I am, for one, the less time I spend being ill. Number two, it's correct. harder to get sick when you're healthy than it is when you're already ill. Then they slap you. Once you're down, pal. See, because what we did, we grew up outside, breathing air, running around, doing shit. And our immune systems did what they were supposed to do. Then they got these vaccines come in after we were adults, and they're putting them in these kids, stopping the natural processes in the order they're supposed to happen. And they're fucking with us in ways that they don't report this. You have to really do some reading to understand that it's possible for the medical people to do it to us, the way they're doing it. Sounds insane. But crazy. Rockefeller medicine has been proven to be nothing but a fucking money-making scam. All of it. Yeah, so sure. you know, go beyond they, go beyond that sentence and say, well, where did diseases come from and how do we get ill in the first place? I can tell you what compounds it. I think it's us reacting. Hey, you can see, but I'm just saying it's me reacting to whatever I'm encountering. So if my immune system is healthy and I'm healthy, then how can I get sick? Okay. I guess that didn't translate too well. Or did I lose you, Vinny? Well, you can get sick. There's a lot of different ways. Okay. And I'm saying I haven't. I'm talking for me. I'm not talking for you. I just don't get it. I must be dumb. That's what they tell me. They go, well, you're just too dumb to understand it all. And that could be true. I don't know. We'll let you be the judge of my intellect tonight, sir, on 20% off. <laughs> but, uh, no. well, okay, see, I, I live on the belief that you draw your life. You know, whatever you want in life, you're going to get it. So if if illness befalls me, as well as the illness, there will be an immediate solution. That's my history. No matter what the fuck happened to me, I've survived it. Wow. <laughs> so without a plan, you know, just making do with the uh, what was available at the moment, and I'm still here. Good for you, buddy. Yeah, but see, society teaches us to be dependent on mama state. See? Mama state will fix all your problems. And, but mama state, what mama state seems to do is cause all the problems. Well, it, it's feeding itself, but it does uh, sometimes create problems and fix them, but, or try to appear to be fixing them. But other things, there's good things that have come about through government that is needed. <laughs> Or that too bad it has gone too far in the wrong direction. Well, yeah, well, see, large groups of people, Vinny, it's easy uh, to corrupt us. It's become uh, a living creature that we serve now instead of serving uh, people. <laughs> Grimner's saying, what? Girls can't show their tits at Mardi Gras. What the hell? How do you get beads? Now, yeah, the last one I went to, yeah, you couldn't do that anymore. And that was in about 10 years ago, I guess. Wow. Well, I, I don't know. Just, maybe longer. I was just looking at that. I came to uh, oh, crime. Oh, longer. The ID crime feed in it. It gave me a whoops. But I was asking, is it illegal? And it said hmm. it was uh, the five most common ways to get arrested at Mardi Gras. Wow. It include, uh, it says the theme of New Orleans, world famous Mardi Gras. Celebrating maybe about the flow with alcohol in Mardi Gras. Illegal intoxication. Also, it goes to, yes, boobs for beads hmm. is as much a Mardi Gras tradition as gas. I, I yeah, but it's it. not legal to do that any longer. Yeah, it's for so the it's children. But you can have gay parades with, you know, people sticking, you know, their parts in other parts. You know, the performance of, but you can't show boobs. See, what a fucked up world we're in. You know, they demonize yeah. all the yeah. wrong shit. Well, the, the law there was when I was 16, when I went to mm. uh, New Orleans first time, was mm. uh, that uh, they had to have, like, a round Band-Aid over the nipple. <laughs> Jesus I, I've seen it 
in yeah uh, i've read that go where they just paint that's all needed to kind of paint over your, your body and that's like uh do that well, I'm just glad I don't live in either of those two places at this point in life. You know, if I was younger, I wonder where I'd want to go. The world's on fire, man. I'd be what cuz when I was young, I was out in the middle of shit at, in America, Canada, and Mexico, and England, but not like South America or Arizona, you know, Arizona. Uh Asia, none of that shit. Arizona. <laughs> that was funny. Anyway, so, Nothing barking, exotic. Barking dogs. Hmm. Are you at serious risk? Uh, for what? No, absolutely not. I feel it, I feel no you. risk about life at all. I'm going to either wake up in the morning or I'm not. Where's the risk? Major issues. What right issues? What issues? Issues about what? Are you at are you at serious risk? No. Major issues, private matters. No, I'm not. I'm not asking you a question. Well, then what are you doing? I'm reading you the title. I wrote the title, Vinny. I, I was you. giving you a commentary there, pal. Don't get all serious. I was. Are, anyway. Are you at serious risk? No. Your issues. See, it's all. Matter. Yeah, well, I just thought that about the victims, you know. Hmm. Because they all want everything prohibited and banned, and they want to be protected by the police. And I think it's a fucking free-for-all. Why don't you just live your life out there, you know? Quit being so paranoid. Quit drawing the negative shit. There's your answer. Well, how do you translate that to somebody that doesn't believe it? It doesn't work. You can't. There's more good in the world than there is bad. It's just you don't know it because you recognize the bad first. <laughs> And it clouds your judgment of the good. Had I been, uh, a, what would you call it, uh, suspicious of Circle being uh, deceiving me when we were, you know, interneting, because we met on the internet, so we had a, a friendship on the internet. Well, that could have been a scam, but I'm not a, uh, I'm not like suspicious of people by nature. So I just came out to meet her. Now, of course, in the back of my mind, there was that little fucker that said, man, if you're being scammed, she's fucking brilliant. <laughs> so it was a winner, winner, chicken dinner. You know? That sounds like a pretty cool thing to do, though. Step out there sometimes. I do. I, I do what you do only uh, in different areas of life. You know, like where you're... Uh, you're not shy to go out to a, a a protest where there's live ammunition and wackadoodles all the fuck around you of, of law enforcement kind. I and laughed you, in your face, sir. Yeah, I know. Yeah, see, and there I you go. Like a dog. <laughs> yeah, because it could be your last. But any moment could be your last anyway. But I wouldn't do that for. A, I wouldn't do that. But I did go to. Copenhagen to meet a woman. <laughs> so, uh, you know, which one of us is insane? Neither or both? Do you hear the music? Mm -mm. Well, no, I'm then, just curious there, because there are those that would say you, sir, are insane. Our similarities outweigh our differences, Vincent, is the key to the whole thing. Even though me and you are like 180 on looking at society and life and all that, we still get along beyond it. Hello. Hello, testing. One, well, because like your undying devotion to uh, people being free to say what they want. I think this will work. You know I'm for that, right? For What are you for? Sir? People being free to say what they want. Free speech. In just, word and type. Shut up for a minute. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> no, don't tell me what to do, bitch. I don't want to hear that kind of talk. Don't tell me what to say. I said I want. I'm out of control. Hmm. Oh, man, it's broken? No, it comes apart. What did you break now? No, I just thought it was broken. So, so I'm, I'm on the side that you're on to a point. And see, that's where things get murky. And I think that's how most of us are. And you, for some reason, 
you've got this ability that the rest of us either don't pay attention to it, don't care, don't nurture, whatever. We don't use it so uh, excessively. You know what I'm getting at there, sport? Uh, kind of. And it's not tolerance, because you deal with most of these people that I don't even want to speak to. Some people are just not nice people. No, no, so, no. I, I'm interpreted as not nice by this new guy, John, all the time. I'm just fucking around, having having a giggle on the RLM. Yeah, I don't John, take it but Boy, he's got to be sure everybody's all comfortable and cozy. and yeah. well, hey, He's like me. Yeah, but we already got you. So it's different so, than, yeah, it's different. No. It's not the same. No, we're all not the same differently. That's yes, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're yeah. like, we're, we're peddling we in, in we eight. We need more people like John. Well, we're, de- we're peddling in eight different directions, but we're going to the same place. <laughs> listen. It's weird. Listen, don't hmm. try to grab a hold of nobody's flipper, okay? I won't, believe me. That's not, well, no, I guess I would. I, I like to part. I like partnerships. Partnerships are uh, they're a unique place to be in life with somebody else. I think a willing like- a willing consensual partnership is the best. Uh, it's the best interaction there is in life. You know, when two people get together to create a third thing, that's fucking cool. No? Yeah. It, yeah. Some- Okay, take Grim and Moose. Grim is one way, Moose is another. And then they get together and it's this other thing. Because I've done radio with you and Moose, and Moose is a completely different character with us than than she is with Grim. Are you calling her a character? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. It's like, you know, she she just cuts loose with, like me and you. They they just cut loose. They don't know how to handle each other. It's like... (laughs) It's fun. <laughs> no, you don't do you, get what you don't do you get it that feel, way. Do you feel you're at serious risk. No. And what are these risks? They're not my risks. They're the risks I recognize in society. Do you find that these to be major issues? Mm, yeah, for the for the most, you know, the populace. And, yeah. Would you say that uh, many of these matters are private? Many. It depends on the person. Some of it could all be private, and with another person, it could all be public. Like me and you. You're way more public than I am. I have become a recluse in my old days compared to you, Mr. Hotfoot and around the world. I'm ready to go again. Yeah, I read that this morning, I think. But... You said it. I don't know. You're you're as predictable as as the POTUS. We never know what Vinny's going to do. We'll ask Donald Trump what Vinny's going to do, and Donald still wouldn't know what you're going to do. And he knows everything. This guy's fucking brilliant. What? They're, they're posting up pictures of him when he was younger and, and <laughs> more sexier and stuff like in a robe. <laughs> hey, what happened to the Iranian invasion? What the fuck? You guys are weak. Uh, what happened? Cal- coming okay. after all right after after the election yeah okay you know I, ladbrook's got odds on when your wars will start you know right? listen no. listen what you want to do is what? get to the futures market on the uh the oil yeah by the time the war goes off see that's gonna that's gonna yeah. prices. Hey, do you know i know somebody really close that knows all about all that shit and you know who that is france my wife yeah. She works in finance. Do you know what I don't give two flying fucks about? France? Finance. Do you know why? France? Because it's a bunch of shit. I still stick with France. Why? Because it leaves clear marks. Oh. Okay. Well, that'll bring us to an end of a show real quick. <laughs> anyway, thanks for popping in with me. I didn't... I, I'm really not. Uh, I'm not enjoying doing the solo radio. I really prefer to have somebody to, to do it with. So, uh, unless I get stranded on a, on a show like the Dork Table, so I don't know what what to do. Maybe I'll try to 
you want to continue it uh, hmm, three times a week. That's a lot. Yeah. Ma well, Mary's going, so I'd have to find somebody else to torture. I'm going to kidnap somebody in, in uh if I continue to do Thursday nights, I'd like to do it with a other person. There you go. It's just more fun. I don't, you know, the time goes fast, but, yeah. You know, it's like we just started the show a minute ago, and here it is over. Oh. You know, I, I, like, I like it when you do radio solo. No way. Yeah, uh, solo that I can't hear. Ah, there you go. I, I should I I'd say I... <laughs> so you want to you want to do the lineup? You do the lineup like nobody does the lineup. You do it. You you do the lineup like nobody does the lineup. Well, I'm gonna take a drink of water. Uh, you, why don't you wet those we, wet those pipes down there, sport? We we got six minutes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then you can have the last few minutes to pontificate at your will. I want to thanks talk about everybody. <laughs> Barman's. I think. Gender has changed here. No. Did I lose you? What no, I, I had to cough. Oh, good for you. I've been a I've been a piping, so I had a little build up in the old pipes of my own, sir. Where do you where's everybody at? Nobody's I don't know. They the no see, nobody likes me. Everybody nope. hates me. Ah! <laughs> I don't know. Hey, this is the middle of the day, pal. People are working and you know, they got lives. And it's summertime, so crying out loud, if you can get outside and fucking do something, get the... F I do. <laughs> when it's not raining, I'm out there doing something outside. But oh. Yeah, well, we had a wet August. We had like three weeks where it rained every day or threatened to rain, so you couldn't get out there and be comfortable doing anything outside. <laughs> and now, we're headed for September. Uh-oh, I heard a pop. Eight, that, that was me. 88 degrees out. That's right. That's supposed to be the high. Surely, yeah. Arkansas. Ooh, look, I got it up. 44% humidity, wind, 5.2 miles per hour. What a duck, man. Oh, man. You duck people are so cruel. I like ducks. Ducks are cool. There, I got them on my second shot. Four hundred. Oh, you murderer. Murderer. Fifty ducks killed in real Liberty Media. Yeah. Perfect shot. Wow. Yeah, but you're Since vicious. I, you're vicious. Wow, could you be a worse shot? I don't know. Whoa. Anyway, I I'm a worse shot than you. You know what cracks me up about movies is that they have these twenty minute fucking fights and nobody gets a bruise or a cut or a hair out of place, not a bead of sweat. They look like they did when they started. If you fought with me for that long, I think I'd be dead. I don't think it could last 20 minutes fighting. You watch a lot of B movies? Well, whatever. I watch both. Hey, I don't really care. Listen, let's uh do we got any you got any like good suggestions for movies on YouTube what to watch? On YouTube? Like action. Oh action. yeah. Sci-fi five movies, zombie movies. Oh, you know they took um to Kill a Mockingbird, they took the book and they're banning the book because it, wow. it's got because it makes people upset. Well, it's supposed to make people upset. It's a horrible story about a terrible thing. It's terrible. Yeah, and it ends badly for fucking terrible. everybody except for terrible. the kids growing up. Their what, life what, was good, but everybody else got what, fucked. We ain't got time to read no books, man. What movies? You would you to Kill a to? Mockingbird. Oh man, it's a That's movie. A and it's banned too. And no, the book is banned. Well, how come you don't ban the book and the movie? I don't know because we have YouTube. We got our barman and back bitch there. shoot, and we've got means, but they can they can ban books. They can control the book. Can't control the internet. Then try all they want. They will to a degree, but there's going to be people like us that are going to find out anyway. You can hide it if you want to, but we're not stupid. We'll go to BitChute then. You have any movies you can recommend on BitChute? Uh, no, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't keep up with the movies on BitChute though. You're not cooperating. No, I know because I have. I can't tell you what I don't know, and only tell you what I know, and I only know four things. Besides *To Kill a Mockingbird*, what what would be a movie you'd like to watch right now? *Young Frankenstein*. Okay. 
All right. You don't want to fight, obviously. Huh? You're, you're not being serious. Yeah, I liked Young Frankenstein. was a good film. All right. How many ducks have you killed in Real Liberty Media? Zero. No, I got one because of Grimm. Grimm really? did it for Yeah, because uh, we were doing something on the computer, and he was in control. Uh-huh. And he killed the damn duck, but it came up on my, my score. You got you took the rap dude. Apparently, yeah. I think if you look it up, it might might have registered as one. Type, type duck. But I'm typing not, anything. Fuck uh, no. Type, type no. Duck. Tell me do what it. to do. I ain't doing it. I'm scared. Listen, you people later. are bullying me now. I I need to get in my safe zone with my safety blanket. Okay. The, tonight, get over here mm. at eleven. M for uh, <laughs> Poopster and Prince Power Hour tonight. Poopster and Prince Power and Hour. That's right. Tomorrow I will not be doing uh, mm. under and Grammy's doing her last blast. Yeah. Air. yeah. But, I know. I might stay up. I guess I'll stay up and catch her live. Uh, mm. Maybe I'll call her. I haven't called her on the radio. Well, she's called in on the door table. But I haven't spent a lot of time talking. You know, I, I leave her show alone. But it's her last one. I think I'll call and interrupt her. And oh, tell her dirty yeah. jokes. At oh, the end, yeah. Hey. At the end of the hour, two hours, and uh, mm. it'll be a sad, sad so long for uh, when we see Grammy go Friday. Oh, I'm going to be sad. Uh, I'm going to call Grimner her. Will here. Grimner will be here at 11. Uh, maybe Bush Girl will be here. It'll be the Freakers Ball. Y'all, one way or another, it's Freakers Friday. And then... Back this Saturday, right here. Flash will be back with the Dork Table, and Sunday Grimner is blowing the <laughs> at noon o'clock and playing trivia. Fast fingers, come on along. And how there it is. Else, yeah, the Grimner put it up. Noon o'clock on the Pacific side from behind the woodshed. Bundy's got uh, Grim leftovers at seven. Grim leftovers. Tuesday is floating about somewhere in the purple world, and uh, Wednesday's gone again, and Grammy will not be here then. Oh, damn. Well, that's it, everybody, unless you got any last words for our, you know, crowd that we gather. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's it. So long, that's everybody. It. Thanks. Yeah, thanks a lot, Gribner, as usual. And uh, don't forget, RLM does not want run on a wing and a prayer. Dig deep and feed the bear. Thanks, everybody.